If you guys like how I do my chart analysis on YouTube and you want to learn how to do it yourself, click the link below to check out the VTrades technical analysis course. What's up traders? This is VTrades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Chesapeake Energy Corporation with the ticker symbol CHK. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So it looks like energy and commodities are skyrocketing and that's why we're seeing uh, a more aggressive uptrend form than previously because you can see that in the past price action was working higher but it was barely making higher highs and higher lows but now we had an explosive move uh, within the past couple of months where we're seeing energy um, the valuation for these companies go up 40 to 50 percent in a very short amount of time so that's very unsustainable especially for a non-tech stock so that's why i'm, I'm predicting a little bit more higher prices before a large pullback in the market um, i see that chesapeake can reach the let's do a measured move i believe it was a 97 dollar level so that's the target that i would give it before seeing a possible sell-off so this is right at the 97 dollar level and we're at, we're tr currently trading at the 90 dollar level so that's the measured move up uh, we are starting to kind of consolidate so we might see prices continue consolidating or having a breakout which might fail so if we break out to the lower side uh, that's probably more bullish maybe something like this come back to the support side of a potential channel if we get a bounce here we're probably gonna get that $97 target however if we start if we break out from the top side we, re we will reach the $97 uh, target and maybe just start falling back down to lows probably back down to the um, top side of this range because you see that prices were consolidating for several months and prices like to test these uh, range breakouts before continuing higher or lower so let's take a look at that so this is the previous range it's going to make this green the channel so we were cons consolidating or being range bound for several months prices broke out of the range but we have not tested it so prices could come back all the way down to the 70 dollar level before continuing higher so I'm um, looking for a little bit more higher prices um, before seeing a large pullback in the market. So we'll have to wait and see what exactly it wants to do. But um, I'm looking for a little bit more higher prices before we see a bigger pullback. So this green channel isn't validated, validated yet. It's a potential channel. The previous channel was more like something like this where we had a spike up. And then we had the first break of the pattern. Which happened back here. And then we sold off, but then we got a retest of the highs because that's what price action does when we have a trend. And now we're starting to flatten out. So that's why we're seeing this consolidation pattern form right now. Uh, buyers don't know what to do anymore because the opportunity to go long was back here. And when the price at, was at the $74 level and sellers don't really want to come in the market because they might get stopped out for picking a top. So that's why we're kind of consolidating. Uh, eventually when we see uh, a breakout, we'll probably see um, market make a bigger move than what we're getting right now. So if we break out to the lower side, there's probably a good possibility we might break out on the top side and reset $97 target. If we break out the top side, we might just come all the way crashing back down to the $70 level. So let's take a look at the weekly chart to wrap it all up. Here we have the weekly chart and CHK is a fairly new stock on the market. It IPO'd back here in early February of last year. Um, so there was a nice uptrend formation that uh, CHK was following, making higher highs, high lows. But now we are getting um, pretty extended. So you can see that this was the previous channel in play. Now I have to make it two-tiered because we are in the upper half of the channel. So this is bullish but also bearish because once we get to the extremes of price, basically when we get far away from the EMA, that's when we can start seeing a lot of selling because price action does not like to be far away from the email for a long time. So uh, this is telling me that a sell-off is coming soon. I don't know exactly when. We can reach the measure move target, which I think can happen at the $97 target, and then start selling off. Or we could just continue to be extended for um, a few more weeks. So we won't exactly know, 
but this just tells me a sell-off is coming and this is not the opportunity to be a buyer uh, the opportunity to be a buyer has passed and the best time to buy are before the moves so you have to look at where the support is and purchase before the moves occur and sell when the moves are done so people are going to probably start selling the smart traders are going to probably start unloading their positions and all the amateur traders are going to probably start buying um, this move up and then when we see maybe a pullback that's when smart traders will back come back in the market and that's when amateur traders will start cutting the losses right before the next move up so that's what's the possibility that can happen let's take a look at the measured move target that i have this is the first leg up right here this is the second leg up and again this is right at the 94 95 dollar target so it's pretty close to my first measure move which was right at the 97 dollar level so it looks like we're going to probably reach the uh, mid 90s or the high 90s before start selling off and we'll have to reevaluate if the sell-off is just temporary and we're going to continue much higher which is a strong possibility especially for energy and commodities or we're going to come back all the way to the lows so we'll have to wait and see Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.